Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would like to explain row operations in our scientific calculator. Here, A is the given matrix. Suppose, we have to make these three elements to zero by using this first element in the first row. So, I am writing some row operations to make these three elements to zero. First one is R2 implies 5 R2. Since first element is in the first row is 5, we should multiply the second row with 5 minus, now multiply the first row with 22. In the similar way, third row becomes R3 implies 5R3 minus 13R1. R4 implies 5R4. Since this element is negative 7, you will get minus of minus plus multiply this term with 7. So, you will get 7R1. Now, I am going to operate these operations in our scientific calculator C. Everybody knows that R1, R2, R3, R4 representations are not there in our calculator. In general, our calculator has the letters capital A, B, C, D, E, F in pink color. That's why I am taking first row as A. Second row is B. Third row is C. Last row is D. Okay. So, this operation, first operation becomes to 5B because second row is represented by capital B. Minus 22A. First row is represented by capital A. Now, C. C in our calculator. 5B. We should operate 5B minus 22A in our calculator. 5 alpha b for pink color you should operate first alpha minus 22 shift sorry alpha a so 5b minus 22a is our row operation after that operate calc calculate button so your calculator asks that what is the value of b our value of b is 22 22 is equal to what is respect to a value? 5 is equal to. So, here you will get 0. First row is similar row. 5, 8, 9, minus 11. So, first element in the second row is 0. Is equal to. What is the next element? 18. Is equal to. Respect to a value is 8. Is equal to. It is minus 86. It is minus 86. Next is equal to. For every entry you should operate is equal to symbol. Next negative 7 minus 7 is equal to. A value is 9 is equal to. I got minus 233. Last element is equal to 5. Is equal to A value is negative 11. I got 267. Next, third row. Here, operation becomes 5C because R3 becomes C. Minus 13A again. So, clear our screen. Now, freshly we have to operate 5C minus 13A. 5 alpha C minus 13 alpha A calculate button. What is C value? Respect to C value is 13 is equal to A value is 5. I got 0. Next 12 is equal to 12. For every time you should operate is equal to ok don't forget it is equal to what is A value? 8 is equal to I got negative 44. Okay, is equal to what is C? Next C value is minus 3 is equal to respect to A value is 9 is equal to I got minus 132 is equal to last value is 8 is equal to last value is last value in the first row is minus 11. So I got 183. 
Next, last operation. 5D plus 7A. Clear the screen and operate 5D plus 7A in our calculator. See, for that purpose, 5D first. 5 alpha D button plus 7 alpha A. Calculate button. What is D value? Negative 7 is equal to 5. I got 0. Okay, next value is minus 3 is equal to respect to A value is 8. I got 41. Next, 5 is equal to D value is 5 is equal to A value is 9 which is 88 is equal to last value of D row is 2 and last value in the A row is minus 11 which is minus 67. In this way, we can easily do the calculations of row operations in our scientific calculator. But my sincere adv advice is, please do the row operations manually. Okay. If elements in the matrix are big values, then you can use scientific calculator. Otherwise, it is better to do the row operations manually. In the next video, I will give some more tricks on calculator related to matrices. Thank you very much.